wherever there is alteration to that which is original, Satan has access. Your DNA is the spirit. The conclusion of your soul. When they infuse this genetically modified food, it goes past reasoning, past thinking, past emotion, emotion, and goes right into your DNA. Your entire being is a cellular device, a communication center. It hinders and cuts that off and gives emotional access to the lies of the evil one. Mental access to the lies of the wicked one. And because you are choosing to partake and put this in your body, you are saying, yes, I know this food gives me cancer. Yes, I know this food gives me diabetes. So you know so therefore, in the spirit, there's no excuse. There's an expectation because you know it's killing you. But you choose to put that which is killing you in your body. You choose. Why do you think nowadays men look like women? It's cool to be gay. We live in a generation now. We celebrate gay. It's cool to be gay. You got men that have developed breasts. You have transgender. Satan is using the food and the modification and science and discovery and all these things to alter and to manipulate our DNA. Okay, And just like in the days of Noah, the flood, angels sleeping with women, the DNA had been altered. They were no longer eligible for salvation because that's who you are. When that is altered, who you are is altered. And this is where your desire to be gay comes from. This is where your desire for murder comes from. This is where you wonder every year they have a hundred new diseases. Every one of these diseases, tell me the location of it. Tell me the substance of it. Tell me the form of it. Tell me the power of it. It's from darkness. It's from the devil. Diabetes is a spirit. Your DNA is a spirit. Anything that comes in is a spirit. Everything is spirit. The food you eat is spirit. Diabetes is a spirit. Alzheimer's is a spirit. And we take drugs with methamphetamines in them. We take drugs with marijuana in them. We take drugs with heroin in them to addict and lure in her. Now we're addicted. Now it brings ease of that pain into a greater darkness because Satan and demons can shape shift they can take your pain and put it over here so you don't feel it anymore but now that you got drug and addiction coming in you now they can bring that into the pain now your life is worse that's why when you watch porn when you do drugs they can take that and it will feel those chemicals in your brain with an all good feeling but in the wrong way in an illegal manner just like in breaking and entering you want to sit in that luxury house instead of pain one night to go in there you break in and you go in there so the lord's really been impressing on my heart that when we eat all this food and to say that you can't afford it is an excuse you can spend a thousand dollars on a cell phone i can easily spend seventy dollars a week and have enough organic food for almost two weeks salads now let's talk about health for a minute Health is Eden. Health is the gate and the passageway for every spiritual part of you to open up. Health is the new dimension. Health is the palace of God. Health is the will of God. Health is the highest level of health. Okay? Just like in the Garden of Eden, everything there was to transform you. So there are organic plants. There's organic tree oil. There's organic powders. There's organic things that God himself that comes from his substance, from his being, is in the earth. When you eat it, you automatically transform. You automatically go to a new dimension with God. An open heaven is not about you praying or doing something just to reach an open place. You are the kingdom of heaven in Christ. When your glands, you have a pineal gland, you have glands all around your mind. You have glands all around your face. Your marrow is a spiritual portal. Your spiritual being, your heart, your liver, your organ, everything is a gateway, is a communication system, is a reality system. 
when you eat this organic stuff in its purest form, it taps into you and enters into your, it's a key that unlocks the purest realm of glory. The, it's not about the purest realm of experience, the purest realm of God. Now, if you don't have the knowledge, you won't see that. If you don't have the wisdom, you won't know that. Therefore, you won't walk and experience that. Okay. So, this stuff that we eat is very demonic. And it is the cause. Because health is everything. Health is not something you do. Health is not something you eat. Health is life itself. When you're out of health, you're out of the will of God. Health gives a spirit of excess, which gives Satan access when you're not in health. When you eat this food, it twists you. It manipulates you. It hinders you. It stops you from your spirit from rising and noticing and realizing the height of the building of the pillar of the platform that you dwell in. Okay, I could talk about this for years and years. The Lord has given us the secrets of health because he is our health and the health of our countenance. Above all, I wish that you would be in health and that you would prosper as your soul prospers. Above all, health is the above all realm. Above all understanding, knowledge, wisdom, what you're going to gain, what you're going to do, the success you're going to have above all. That's an overall will statement of the father. Okay. So let me explain personally. I cannot tell you the power that I feel. I'm devoting my life to health. I'm not perfect. I work on it. But I cannot tell you the access I get when I'm in health. The communication of the voice of the Lord that unifies when I'm in health. And it's by realization you understand this. I cannot tell you the opportunities, the angels that immediately fly to me when I'm in health. I cannot tell you the encounters that I have with God when I'm in health. Okay. That's what the Lord put on my heart. And this is the introduction. There's going to be a whole sermon about this, a whole series about this, many chapters about this. But this is just the introduction. Okay, so bless you. I break the spirit of darkness off you. I break health, diabetes, demons, portions of wickedness, manipulation, all satanic altars in your DNA. We repent of all the sickness we have placed in our body. We repent for poisoning God's altar and tabernacle. We repent for placing those modifications of wickedness and darkness inside of our being. And we break those chains, we break those altars, we break those addictions, we break those desires. We touch the throne of God and take upon the Holy Spirit desire of health, the desire of freedom, the desire of joy, the desire of capacity. In Jesus' name, I just got warmed up. Amen.